Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at Buzzsaw Hordak from the Masters of the Universe Origins line. Okay, now I feel a little crazy because it doesn't say Origins on here. Doesn't it usually say Origins? Like, isn't there? Maybe not. I don't know. That's weird. How have I not noticed this before? Okay. All right, so because I don't like wondering about things, I had to go grab an older figure. And yes, it doesn't say Origins uh, on the front of the card, but as you can see on the back of the card, it says Masters of the Universe Origins. But it does seem weird to me that we're so used to referring to the line by that name, but it's not on the front of the package. And I got to say, I kind of like that it's not on the front of the package uh, because it does make it seem more like classic Masters of the Universe. Anyway, <laughs> what we're doing today is taking a look at Buzzsaw Hordak, one of the different variations of the Hordak figure. And this is a deluxe figure. I actually did find this at retail. I had it on pre-order at BigBadToyStore.com, which is where I have all of my Masters of the Universe Origins on pre-order. But I'm that kind of scumbag that if I find it at retail... I'm going to go to Big Bad and I'm going to cancel my order because if they didn't want you to do that, they wouldn't let you do that. Uh, so, Masters of the Universe, Buzzsaw Hordak, Ruthless Leader with Blaster Blade, Saw Blade, Bursts Out of Chest, Modern Posing, Retro Play. Okay, that's interesting. Saw Blade in quotations, like it's, we're going to think there's an actual Saw Blade with this figure. But anyway, I get it. Whatever. Toys are different. Deluxe figure set let's take a look at the back we've got some beautiful card art here and interesting to note why what do we have over here it's flying is it flying fists he-man you guys you, you got to give me a break here because i was not i didn't have all the he-man toys when i was a kid as a matter of fact i had like one <laughs> so uh this stuff is not right at the top of my head, but I believe that is Flying Fists He-Man, a variation on He-Man that has not yet been announced for the Origins line. We've also got Mantasaur, uh, Hordak's Steed. It's it's Hordak's version of Battle Cat or Panthor. In the back there, I love how they reveal things that are potentially forthcoming in the line. Uh, at the top here, we've got Hordak's Buzzsaw Blast catches his enemies off guard. And I'd just like to point out, that's a pretty cheeky He-Man going on right there, if you're catching what I'm saying. what uh, Catching what I'm looking at. That's some beef. All right. So, instructions right here. Click Buzzsaw into place. Push down on lever and back. And launch Buzzsaw at enemies. And then we've got the cross cell, which I love. I love the just knowing what else is available in the line. Now, obviously, thanks to the internet... We do know, but to me, this is just an important part of the packaging. All right, let's get this guy opened up. We've got a couple different heads, an alternate hand, all the goodies you could want from a deluxe Masters of the Universe Origins figure. Uh, I found this one at Target. They had Battle Armor He-Man, Battle Armor Skeletor, which I've already gotten. You can see my reviews of those figures elsewhere on the channel. And then uh, Buzzsaw Hordak. I have not yet found Clamp Champ or Mosquito, although Clamp Champ is in my pile of loot at BigBadToyStore.com. I'm just kind of waiting to see if the last couple of things that were supposed to come out in... My gosh, I should have brought my scissors. Uh, I'm waiting to see if the last couple of things that were supposed to come out in June come in which is dumb because it's like four dollar shipping i should have just had it all shipped anyway but whatever we uh we toy collectors have weird decision making abilities oh man that last head does not want to come out of there holy cow are you kidding me You guys, it just turned to the side and is still stuck. Okay, there we go. My gosh. I didn't expect that to be as difficult as it was. You got all kinds of little debris from opening it up here. Let's get that out of the way. Um, 
let's see. We've got the instructions that tell us about the interchangeable parts of the figures, which is one of the most fun things about this toy line, uh, that you can switch out the heads and everything else. Heads, arms, legs, boots. And then on the other side, we've got the important instructions about how to operate the buzz saw, or excuse me, saw blade. All right. Uh, Hordak himself, very similar to the regular Hordak release, but obviously has some hinges here for that chest to open up. This is a great looking figure. I love the gray. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to make another cut because we want to take a look at, uh, at this guy and compare. Okay, so there's our Buzzsaw Hordak. There is our regular Hordak. And very, very close. Like, they didn't change up the feet or the, uh, the arms or anything else. The head... The default head is different, though, which I like quite a bit. Let's get this out of the way so we're not trying to focus on other things. Okay, so the default head, look at the difference in the eyes there. Pretty cool. Uh, and also, the color on his face on the regular figure is black, and on Buzzsaw Hordak is gray. I'm glad I, you know, I, I wish I would remember more often to do little comparisons like this because I always discover interesting things uh, about the figures. Otherwise, pretty much the same. I love that. I like that different, uh, that they went ahead and actually made that head look different. Very cool. Okay. Uh, and also, the cape is done differently on Buzzsaw Hordak. Obviously, he's got working parts that need to happen. So there you go, there's the difference there. Now does he have, how is this gonna work? I guess I'm gonna have to read the instructions. Click buzzsaw into place. So it looks like the cape may be part of activating the buzzsaw. Uh, let's open his chest up. That pops right open. Oh, yeah, look at that. The cape is actually the mechanism. I don't know if it was like that on the original toy. I didn't have a regular Hordak, much less a Buzzsaw Hordak. So I don't know exactly how that worked. Now, let's take a look at this. Uh, it's two pieces, for whatever reason. But neat little, neat little deal. I'd hate to have one of these life-size running through me. So we get that clicked into place, as they said. And let's see what happens, because I don't know. i got to get a grip on this thing so I can actually make it function. All right. Oh, maybe that's not how that works. I'm going to shoot this at my face. It's going to be very entertaining. Holy... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that thing really blasts out of there. Let's try the other one. I'm sure it'll work exactly the same, but just to see. Uh, just a different shaped saw blade. Get it clicked in there. I, I am very impressed. That's dangerous, you guys. All right, here we go. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Man. That comes out with some force. <laughs> I kind of thought it would just sort of pop out of this cavity and, and roll down here. That thing blows out of there. That's great. What a fun gimmick. They did a great job with that. Uh, all right. Let's close that chest back up. And we've got, like I said, the default head is different from that regular head on the standard release figure. And then we've got a smiling Hordak head, which I love. And maybe the one that goes on my regular Hordak figure. Look how happy he is. It's great. Uh, and then he's got, for no good reason, he's got his mushy, all of these hands on the Origins figures are all jacked up. Uh, a little hot water would probably take care of that. But I don't, 
I guess I should care, but I kind of don't really. I just put them on the shelf like that. And then we've got an alternate hand, uh, a grasping sea grip hand. I'll leave this one on because there's no reason for the other one. Uh, we have the Horde Crossbow, which you may or may not enjoy. It's got the little clip right here to give it sort of a simulated... I don't know what that's even supposed to be. Just battering ram. Look, this, this technology was invented in the 80s, and we took what action features we could get. It's interesting, there's no reason for him to even have a C-grip on this hand, because that's how the crossbow clips on. So there you go. That, not much more to say. Buzzsaw Hordak, lots of fun. Uh, showing up at retail now. And look, he could be your regular Hordak. You don't really need... Well, I take that back, because this one comes with Hordak's little bird bat buddy creature thing and you don't get that with buzzsaw hordak so you really do need both of them but i like both of the heads i like those red eyes on buzzsaw hordak a little more i don't know though regular hordak looks pretty spooky too uh you guys this is a win for me i like it it's fun I, and I'm, I'm gonna do that buzzsaw one more time here because it's insane to me the velocity that this thing has where it shoots out of the chest. Now you die, Shira. That's wild. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things and the fun we have reviewing toys. Uh, until next time. Okay, I couldn't let it go. Uh, I forgot to talk about the mini comic because I was so excited about seeing that buzzsaw shoot out of Hordak's chest. Uh, so mini comic included. These have all been great. Uh, this one is called Horde Plague. And they're just like the old mini comics. They're creating the mythology for the Origins line. And they've got great art, great stories. These are... Uh, that's I, I came back just to talk about how these are, are an important part of the Origins toy line, and I'm happy to have them. Uh, so that being said, Hordak rules! Smash that like button if you like needless things.